Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Happy New Year, guys! It's a new decade, new tricks, <laughs> and what a better way to start off this year is a new guide. And today I'm gonna take you through all the bow sights with all the different arrows, bow types, different zeroings. I have gathered a lot of data for this video, and I spent like three to four hours in the range shooting with different arrows with different zeroings and I have made you graphs of all the data that I have collected so you know for sure which pin is for which distance with different arrows and zeroings so without further ado let's go to the range and find out a couple things I wanna point out before I start going into a lot of the detail is that I tried all the different bows uh, in the game and there was no significant difference between the bows when it comes to accuracy especially when you have the maxed out pumping iron and the increased confidence skills and these are the skills that increase your accuracy and strength of the bow so these basically round up around the same with all of the bows so the data that i'm gonna show you is gonna be done with the cb70 which is the most strongest bow and the only difference was that it kinda shot the heaviest arrows the best but it was so small detail that it doesn't really matter at all and second especially with the longer ranges the biggest factor in for the bow hunting is gonna be the wind the wind completely dictates how your arrow is gonna behave when you release it Let's say you're shooting against the wind, you have to always aim a bit higher depending on the wind strength to hit your target. And then the opposite, if you shoot the wind on your back, you have to shoot a tiny bit lower because the wind carries the arrow a bit further. So let's start with the very basic sight. And this is the single pin. Now, this is the one that comes with all the basics and with all the bows this is the basic sight you can get and this is straightforward you aim with the top of the pin and that's where you're gonna hit and this one depends if you have the zeroing skill or not if you don't have the zeroing then the default distance is gonna be 40 meters like i have now with the zeroing and if you use the zeroing then you're just gonna shoot to the distance that's your zeroing is gonna be at like that's 20 meters and then this will be at 60 meters so yeah not gonna go much into details because this one is really the easiest one you can have the single pin is really uh, really accurate <laughs> especially with the zeroings and next one that i'm gonna cover is gonna be the three pin and this is where the things get way more interesting uh, we have the top pin, middle pin, and the bottom pin. Uh, you're basically gonna use the middle pin for the zeroing. So if you have the zeroing skill, the middle pin is the one the zeroing is gonna affect. And then the top pin is to shoot closer, and the bottom pin is to shoot further. And here, there is not that much difference between the arrows. And we're gonna start with the 300 grain arrow. With the zeroing of 20 meters, the top pin is roughly 5 meters. The middle pin is for the 20 meters and the bottom pin is roughly 80 meters. And for the 40 meter zeroing, we have the top pin is for 5, middle is 40 and the bottom is roughly 100 meters. And then for the 60, we have top pin is 5, middle is 60 meters and the bottom pin is roughly 110 meters and especially with the longer ranges for the bottom rows the bottom pins the longer shots depend highly on the wind so take those numbers as like base numbers and see how the wind is going to affect them and then with the 420 grain arrows there's no difference basically at all between these arrows and then when we go for the 600 grain arrows for some reason the 20 meter zeroing the top pin was basically zero meters no matter how close i got to the target it wasn't ever accurate until i got right in front of the target so that's gonna be like for really really close targets and then 
the only difference between the 600 and the 420s and 300s is that the 400 the 40 meter zeroing the bottom pin was a lot less it was for 80 meters and then the also the 60 meter bottom pin was a bit closer than the 40 and 300 grain arrows and next up we have the five pin side and the only difference between the five and the three pin actually is that you have two extra pins between the top middle and the middle and the bottom pin just to give you a bit more accuracy between between those lines and here you have the top the second middle fourth and bottom pin let's take a look first the 300 grain arrows and what are the distance for this so with the 300 grain arrows when the zeroing is 20 meters, the top pin is again roughly around zero. It was similar to the three pin one. Then the second one was around five meters. The middle one was zero to 20, so the middle one is going to be 20 meters. The fourth was roughly around 50 meters and the bottom was roughly 60 meters. So that's really interesting that it has such a short of the distances. Then when you zero for 40 meters, the top one is going to jump up to like 10 meters which is really interesting and then the second one is gonna be 20 meters middle one is gonna be 40 four is gonna be uh, roughly around 60 meters and the bottom one jumps to 100 meters and this was really hard to test out properly but i managed to do pretty consistent 100 meter shots with the bottom one and then when you zero for 60 meters the top one jumps to 20 meters the middle second one pumps up to 40 meters, middle to 60, 4 to 80, and the bottom roughly around 110 meters. And when we take a look at the 420 grain arrows, there are not that much difference. The main difference are the bottom pins. Uh, with the 40 meter zeroing, the bottom one becomes around 80 meters, and with 60 meter zeroing, the bottom is roughly around 100 meters. And when the when we go to the 600 grain arrows, there is also they're basically similar to the 420 grains. There is not much difference at all here. So these basic sides, the three pin and five pin, are pretty much similar with all the arrows. But I have a feeling that just the different skill levels are gonna affect these numbers slightly. But the biggest factor is definitely the wind. So if you're testing out these results and you get something different, consider how is the wind. Because I was shooting most of these against the wind. So I was taking that into account. And then we get to the crossbow. And this one was way more interesting than all the other bows. Let's start at because you first off, your zeroing is gonna be for the top spot not the middle like the rest of the bows and if we take a look at the 300 grain arrows with the crossbow if your zeroing is 10 meters your top is gonna be 10 meters if you're uh, and for the 10 meter zeroing that middle one is gonna be 30 meters and the bottom one jumps straight to 70 meters so there's a huge gap between the middle and the bottom pin for the crossbow and then if you're using the 30 meter zeroing, the top is 30 meters, middle one goes to 50 and bottom one goes to 80. That is seriously like roughly round numbers there. And then when with the 50 meter zeroing, the top one is gonna be around 50, middle one is 80 meters and the bottom one goes to 100 meters. And when we go to 420 grain arrows, the 10 meter is around same-ish than with the 300 grain arrows except the bottom pin is gonna be 50 meters so there is slight decrease in the distance there and with the 30 meter zeroing you have the top is 30 middle one is 50 and the bottom one is roughly around 70 so it's also again bit decrease in the distance there and with the 50 meter zeroing you have the top is 50 middle one is 70 and the bottom is 100 meters and with the 600 grain arrows uh, the zeroing for the 10 meters the top one is gonna be 10 meters middle one was around 30 meters 
and the bottom one was roughly around 60 meters. Now this is where the wind can again a bit come into play, it can be 50, it can be 60, but the bottom rows are the ones which change the most between the arrow types. And with the 30 meter zeroing, the top one is 30, middle one is goes to 40 meters, and the bottom one goes to 50 meters. And then with 50 meter zeroing, the top adjusts 50 meters, middle one is 70 meters, and the bottom one goes to 90 meters. And this was really, really interesting to see with the crossbow. I have always had a lot of different difficulties to hit with the crossbow, especially for the further targets. And this kind of explains it, because it varies a lot between the different arrow types. And that's something you need to take into consideration when you're shooting. Because the arrows with the crossbow definitely make a lot of difference. I hope this guide helps you out and gets you better with the bows. I have all in the description link to all these pictures, so you can definitely take a look at them, download them, have them on your second monitor while you test things out. I have both for the meters and yards, so I hope I converted those correctly. Thanks for watching, and as always, have fun, happy hunting, and I see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>